friends, I'm Spika Wabi. And I'm Karen Orchard. And we're teaching artists at Flushing Town Hall, where we believe in global arts for global kids and seniors. Welcome back. Today, we're going to show you how to make the mechanism which creates the pop-up effect and how to make a pocket. So let's get started. Now we have a big piece of paper we can use for our card. When they have to close up the paper to make a bag. So for example, I can say, I don't know if you can see it here, there's a thing here. So just make sure this doesn't show up uh, in the page. Otherwise, uh, it might cause some trouble. So now we are going to get a piece of paper, later size paper. You can find anything at home as a pattern, so it's easier for you to measure. So you can use pencil to mark it. But in order to make it to see clearly, I'm going to use Sharpie. So I'm going to just go around the paper. And this is going to be our base of our page. And then we need the stand for the image to pop up. So I'm going to use the rest of the paper here. I'm going to mark it with this Sharpie as well. Okay. And then you are going to put the ruler here to mark two inch, four inch here, two and four, yeah. So there you go. Because you need two of them and that's what we are doing here. Okay. And then this is gonna be the two stands for you to make the in image stand up. So before we cut it out, let's do another mark. Let's mark each stand. Let's mark one inch and one inch. And then this is the center of the stand. And then you are going to score it this is the automatic pencil and the front if you put your uh, lead back and then it's going to be a very strong point it's good for making the score you can score so you can score a line if you don't have an automatic pencil you can also use the back of your scissors and you can do that too Okay, so you have a score line here, and then send us the other one. The next thing is we're going to cut it out. I'm using scissors, but if you want, you can use your knife with a cutting board or a magazine underneath. So don't throw the rest of piece of paper out because we're going to need them later. So this is the final piece. Next things we're going to start with this page. This is our base. So we're going to make it like a book page, which is you can open it up. So we're going to fold it in half, corner to corner. So you have a very even page and use your fingernail if you want to make sure it have a very clear crease you can flip over and do it again and flip it back so now it's a very easy open page okay so next thing we have these two stands cut out in order to make it look clear I switch to the orange color so you can see it. So this, remember we have a score in the middle, so it's easier for you to fold. 
because there's already a line there. So if we're going to fold it, it's right in the middle. Okay. And then, again, you can use your fingernail to reinforce the crease. And then you're going to fold it the other way. Again, folding in half, corner to corner, like this. So you have a horizontal fold and a vertical fold. So back to this way. And then you can see there's a middle here. You're going to cut the middle to one inch, which is right down to the middle. What happened is, and then you can make a stand this way. So this is original shape. And then we fold it in half, and then we fold it in half. And that's how you make it stand up okay so you can make two so the other one the same thing so you create a two stands for your pop-up book like this so next things we're going to glue this onto the page this is the middle right you don't have to do it this is just for you that you can see where is the line there's a middle right and then this is our first stand we are going to place it here so uh, you can mark it three inch use the pencil to mark it three inch right here and then you can place your stand right here I'm going to lift it up so you can see better, like this. And then, so you need an angle in order to make the stand stand up. So now I have a three inch mark here, one and a half inch right here. So now we are going to glue it on the page. So you are going to fold it back and place your stand on one point here, one point here, right? So that's a good angle you, you want. And then you put a glue on top of this folding stand. And you place right there and make sure this point go right to the middle and then you close the page and you open up see this side already glue and then you glue the other side right here and you close this side voila now you have a stand that can stand by itself look at this way and next one right here, we're going to have two layers so you can create some depth. So you can have a little bit of space in between here, but you already have a guideline. Let me put it more forward right here. As long as they have the same distance, have the same distance, then that, that's good. So you're going to close it. So the same thing, you're going to glue, put some glue on one side. Make sure it get to the middle line. And then keep this the same distance. And you close it. And you open up. This side already glue. And you do the other side. And then you flip it. And then you print. Voila, now you have two stands. The reason for that, compared to this page, see, you have something you can do it as a foreground and then you can do something for the background, like this one. You can have character in the front, 
scenery in the back or vice versa. I also have a pocket in the back so you can put things there. For example, a lifesaver in here and when I tell the story when I need it, I take it off on the pocket when I don't need it. That's a good place to, to keep the object there. So now we're going to show you how to make the pocket so you can put things together in one page. So remember I told you don't throw the rest of the paper we just made. So this is what we can use it for. So now to make the pocket, you need a ruler, you need a pencil, but in this case I'm going to use Sharpie so you can see it. So you're going to do a measurement 7 inches and a 5 and a half right here, 7 And this can be your pocket, and you are going to cut it out. Okay, so now you are going to fold it to make the pocket, but you are going to leave a quarter inch on top when you fold it, fold it to the line like this and then this is going to be your pocket you think you can put in there however see these two sides are open uh, we're going to close it down by folding in so you're going to another again you're going to draw a quarter inch on each side And then you're going to cut, this is the middle, you're going to cut this part out. I'm going to tell you why. And then when you fold it, let me show you. See? Fold it and you can close it. So, right? So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can cut this out. If you find this hard to fold because the paper is thick, again, you can use the back of your scissors to score it, to create a line then now it's much easier to fold. So now you close it, you can put a magazine on the bottom when you glue it, so keep your table clean. Close this. Now you have a pocket like this and then you can put this right here so you can put your things inside so the next things we're going to think about what are you going to put inside the page it's time to share your story thank you for joining us today engineering the pop-up and please check out our other activities below and we'll see you next time when we learn how to make characters and scenery to put in our pop-up page